Hello and welcome to day two vlog. Hope you enjoy. LOL. Soda stream. Drinking the soda stream that I made last night that I didn't film, but uh, I try to hydrate myself in the morning. And what's better than drinking speckling water? Um, I'm also about to go for a walk. Uh, then I have to prep a call and, and, and go to martial art training today. But uh, I'll take you through my day. Day two. Today is a Tuesday and my steps is 39, which I don't know how. I guess I just, when I got my phone from the charger and I walked back to the front door, that was 39 steps. But here I decided to do like a time lapse. Depending on how the day goes, because today isn't so sunny and it's like a cloudy day, I'm thinking of potentially doing sprints in this park right here. So we'll see if that happens. You guys will find out. But um, sprinting apparently is really, really good. Because I did a bit of research, it's good to shed body fat and it's good for the muscles and it's also good for the abs. So we'll see. Let's, let's keep walking. Okay, so I kept walking and eventually I reached. 8:52 p.m. a.m. 1,811 1, steps. Steps. Yep. Yeah. So here I'm just um, filling up my soda stream because I really like it, and I put it in the fridge for later. Here I'm just um, opening the dryer to get my wraps for my kickboxing class. Here I'm just untangling the wraps so I don't be late to class as I normally am. And here I wanted to intermittent fast, but I just I had to eat a banana, otherwise I had zero energy and I would have passed out. That's how I felt like. And of course, we're going to top it off with the Collagen Pro, 20 grams of protein, right there, shake, shake, shake. And I'm going to put my wraps on and we're off to kickboxing. Hey guys, morning, it's day two. It is about, um, I think it's about 11.20 a.m. And I'm about to just head over to kickboxing training, which I have like an hour class. So that is always, always good to do, you know, um, seeing people and also belonging to a sense of community. But afterwards, you always feel really good about yourself. Uh, so that's why I'm doing it. And like you saw today, when I went for a walk, it's actually a very cloudy day today, which is actually really good because I kind of want to do sprints. So I'm going to do that in the afternoon. That's what I plan to do. Um, but what I have, what, what I eat, sorry if my words are so like slow, just like I feel a bit dizzy because I haven't ate anything. I just ate a banana because I just have to eat a banana. I feel like if I don't eat a banana, I'll literally pass out. And I drank like two sips of coffee, the same one from yesterday, because I don't want to waste it. And um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm just trying to drink water. And when I get back, then I'll finally eat and then I'll do a bit of work and then go to do sprints. And then, and then yeah, should, should, should be good. So um, I'll see you after I train. I'm back from my kickboxing class. Um, it was very awkward because there was like no one there. It was literally just me in the whole class. So I guess I got like one-on-one -on -one in time with the instructor. But at the same time, he didn't really pay attention all the time. But yeah, so I pretty much hit the bags for like 40 minutes straight with almost no rest. And uh, yeah, so I'm, the thing I'm going to focus on is to make sure that my hand, my right hand, is always here in my jaw. Sometimes I move it down. And I think that he showed a video of Ryan Garcia who also probably a through habit obviously he's he'll kick my ass but like he always puts his hand down and it leads to like people hooking you in the jaw so it almost has to be glued on but the thing is when I spar I'm an orthodox position I always switch stances which is maybe bad maybe I shouldn't do that just for practicing purposes I should just master one stance first but usually I find inspiring I, I don't even do orthodox I actually do the other way around I do um uh, southpaw stance and I'm pretty sure I always have my. I always have. I just. I know for a fact I always have this hand up because I've been, I've been kicked into the. I've been kicked in the nose, and I started bleeding, and that's why I put my hand up. And last time I remember someone kicked me in the head, and I had this hand up. So I know this is almost always up, which is great. But I gotta make sure the other hand is up. Um, that's what I'm gonna focus on, and just making sure I fully rotate, twist, and um, there's a lot of stuff to think about. But the main one that I should just think about because there's a lot of things you, should, you can think about but really I think you, you can only focus on one thing is that hand being up and um, yeah after that it's like other stuff like you have to attack it you, you have to attack you can't just you can't just move back all the time it, you don't really learn that much so you just have to like attack it and you have to be at least equal to the opponent so if the opponent's throwing three shot combos you should be returning three shot combos ideally you shouldn't be throwing one shot combo and your opponent is throwing like six shot combos at you it, it 
it's like a mentality thing and you get defeated that way. So I think there's a quote where like the best the best offense is a good defense. Oh, no, that's not the quote. It's like you have to attack it, you know? Like the best defense is to attack it. So something like that. Anyways, um, before I was feeling a bit down, but now, now, now I'm good, you know? See, it's, you always feel good after training and I feel so motivated that I want to do sprints right now. But I probably should eat one thing. I'll probably eat a protein bar and I'll go ahead and do sprints. Let's do it. Right back on, just gonna quickly drink some soda stream. It's always very good after a workout. And I'm gonna eat one protein bar, like I said, and I'm just gonna just gonna go for sprints right away. Alright, so I have this protein bar right here. It's I don't know, you know, it's very scammy, like you know, it has five health star out of five health star. I really don't know what's in this. I'm not a nutritionist, but I hope it's good. Um it has about eleven grams of protein, five grams of fat, zero point nine grams of sugar. 62 grams of sodium. So I don't even know what that means, but I hope this is okay. And I'm gonna eat this and then go sprinting here right away. Drinking some soda stream, which is amazing. And then here I am eating the bar. I'm sweating like a pig. It's kind of disgusting watching back this footage. Here I just drank a bit of kombucha um, and then I'm off to the sprinting. Here I am just doing some warm up and I just, I just sprint back and forth and my camera fell down. So I picked it back up and uh, I just, I think I did this for like six times, I think. Uh, you'll see me in, I slowed down the footage for the last one so you can see me sprinting like right now. This this is in real time speed. So here I am just running as fast as I can. Um, yeah, it's interesting. I've never done it before, so it was cool. Um, and I think you also hear some feedback about me doing some sprint straight after. That sprint was very tough, very tough sprint, kind of. I'm going to go longer instead of going... Instead of going this way, I'm going to go long ways. Maybe I'll do... I want to do six more. I'm going to do six more. I definitely did not do six more. I only did three more. Um, I don't know why, but the sun started to pick up. I know that's just an excuse, but it was actually very hot. So here I am running in real time, I think. Yeah, it looks so funny. No, this is, I'm running in 1.5 speed. Yeah, so that's what that was. And yeah, so after that, I had 4,100 steps. I counted the sprints as steps, and I went back home to eat some food. I wasn't actually that hungry to be honest after doing those exercises but before the exercise I was actually pretty hungry so that's very interesting how that works. Um, here I just cooked the same pasta and chicken as yesterday. I ate the one apple a day, keeps the doctor away and I yeah and then after that I well, you know I did some other stuff but then I decided to go to grocery shopping and I obviously decided to walk there and not drive there and now I'm on 7,700 steps as you can see and I decided to do a time lapse in the grocery store which is interesting and um, maybe I won't do it again but here I got some mangoes then I got some apples no oranges sorry uh, and then and then yeah I was just a bit, and I got some eggs and then I was just um sometimes you get confused you know you have some list in your head but then when you're actually in the grocery store there's just so many options that you just forget why you're even there but uh, I think I got everything I needed Oops. That's all right, so I'm back from my walk from the grocery store and I have now reached 9,793 steps, which is pretty much 10,000, you know, I'll keep walking till I get the 10,000, but you know, after training today and, and just um, walking around the house without wearing my watch, because obviously I don't wear my watch all the time, I know I already reached 10,000. Let me show you what I got from Woolies. Uh, here we go. So what I got was this yogurt. Uh, it was really hard to pick out some stuff to get because everything's just marketing. So I don't know if it's actually good for you or not, and I don't actually understand it. Like I don't understand it. It just it just sounds cool, but like I don't know if it's actually good for you. Anyways, we have got two yogurts here, three yogurts. Sorry. Then we got some free range eggs, which is great. Uh, then we got mangoes, two of them. I am kind of sick of mangoes now, so I might switch to something else like uh, nectarine or something, or peaches. But two mangoes, we got two oranges, and we also have one lemon, which was like a dollar fifty-three. That's about four dollar fifty ringgit. Um, then we have this steak right here, which again I don't know if this is good to eat or not, but I probably won't eat the fat. But yeah, it's good to just change up the meats because I like you know if I'm gonna do this for 90 days I can't just be eating chicken breast every day it's, it's just not gonna happen you know so 
it's good to change things up, even though if it's not as nutritious as chicken breast, like it, it's good for my brain. It's, I, I, I have to. Yeah. So there we go. Just like pasta, you know, I really like pasta. That's why I put pasta in my in my meals, even though it's carbs. Um, then we also have this dark chocolate right here. As you can see, it's ninety five percent dark chocolate with like like zero point five grams of sugar. So I actually craved chocolate yesterday, so I'll be eating this. This is great. Uh, and then finally, we have two salmons right here, as, as I cooked yesterday. Uh, I just like salmon. I think it's I think it's amazing. It's got good fats because fat is actually good for you, especially if it's a good source of fat because it's good for your hormonal balance. So I can't just you know. The word fat sounds terrible. It's all the negative connotation, but um, salmon. Okay, here I'm just cooking a steak, which was so delicious, so delicious. Um, and I also made an egg and put some spinach, and it was very, 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 very good. As you can see. Wait, that's salmon and egg and broccoli. All right, guys, it's um, seven o nine, seven ten p.m., and right now it's like actually daylight saving. So the sun is still out at seven o'clock, and on top of this, it's again like I said earlier, it's it's pretty cloudy. So it's actually a great day to do an evening walk, and I'm I'm really enjoying myself. It's really cool. Like I'm walking to different neighborhoods that I never would, and I'm just seeing all the all the stuff. But um, as you can see, I am on one thousand four hundred steps. Uh, again, I already reached ten thousand, but then like, I, I was, I'm just to be extremely honest, I'm just sometimes I'm just bored, you know. And usually when we're bored, we just like go play video games, you know, do do other random stuff but um it's cool that i'm going for a walk and um, while i'm walking i'm listening to uh youtube videos because i have youtube premium and i'm listening to like like listening to people doing like like ten thousand or twenty thousand steps a day and like right now i'm listening to that will will T tenson guy whatever his name is like who who had a challenge of twenty five thousand steps every day for a month or something and yeah he's a pretty entertaining guy I think 25,000 steps is quite absurd but I don't know maybe, maybe I'll change it to 25,000 steps but I'm gonna keep going and um, it's very interesting to to walk to walk at this time it's, it feels really it feels right it feels really good like I, I don't I, I'm not even thinking about the steps I just, I just want to keep walking you know so I'm, I'm, I'm just walking right now and I'm just going to random streets I don't even know how to walk back home like I'm at the stage where I don't even know how to walk back home and it's gonna be like entertaining to walk back home so that's what i'm doing and um it's also cool to sometimes see other people walking and i'm like oh wow they also have that walk mindset you know so yeah it's very interesting it's, it's an interesting um life experience and also i ate I ate some food before so i just want to walk that off i guess and uh hopefully I have a really good night's sleep because i'm walking like crazy fourteen thousand steps plus 40 to 45 minute kickboxing training when i was the only one in the class Plus, I did some sprints that I recorded, and my phone also died out. Um, yeah, it's interesting. It's interesting. I'm, de I'm definitely on a caloric deficit. But the question is, can I maintain this? But uh, yeah, we'll keep, we'll keep going. We'll, we'll find out. We'll find out on day 90. <coughs> All right, guys. I ended the day with 1,703 steps. But keep in mind, I also went to martial art training for 40 minutes hitting the bag. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.